In this video, I showed you how you can use tools like Gmail to utilize recruiters as a way to find clients for your freelancing and consulting business. However, the one thing that I didn't show you is how you can make this process a lot easier with Google Apps Scripts. Now, what I mean by that is if you've tagged a bunch of people inside of your Gmail application or a bunch of conversation as recruiters, when you need to contact them, you need to go to your recruiter label, find the email address, copy it to a spreadsheet, something like that. That can be time consuming, frustrating, and can be a deterrent to you actually wanting to do it. However, there is a way that you can automate that process, and we're going to do that today. What you can do is use the Google Scripts with Google Sheets to connect to Gmail, read through all of the emails that are labeled with Recruiter, pull the name of the email and the email address of all the people in the conversation and store it to a spreadsheet. You can also do things such as sending emails directly from these scripts as well. Let's hop right into it and not waste any more time. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to sheets.new. This will create a brand new Google Sheet. Before you do this though, you need to make sure you're logged into the correct Gmail account that you want to be executing these scripts against. So I'm logged into my personal Gmail account where a lot of these things are. Next, you're gonna to go to extensions. You're gonna to go to app script. This is gonna open up the app script editor. This is where we can type in some code to do some scripting against the Google apps themselves. It gives us a default function called my function. I'm going to create a couple of scripts in here real quickly and then I'm gonna show and talk about what they do. Okay, the first one, I'm gonna copy and paste in some code here. This function is called get emails with label. What this is going to do is connect to your Gmail account, look at anything with this label. If your label was nested, maybe it was under my contacts like this, and you had a nested label called recruiters, you would plug that in instead of recruiter or recruiter. This will look through all of the conversations labeled with Recruiter and find any name and email address that was inside of that conversation and save it to the current spreadsheet that we just created. So let's go ahead and hit save and let's run this and then we'll walk through this. So I'll go ahead and hit run. And then what we're going to see is down here, the execution log and perhaps it's gonna show that it needs some type of permission because very often these things do need permission to run against your Gmail account, which we do see here that an authorization is required. I am on my personal Gmail account. It's going to give me a issue here saying that this developer needs to verify this app with Google. I'm writing the script against my own personal email. You're probably gonna be doing the same thing. So I'm gonna hit advanced and I'll go ahead and continue to untitle project. Notice that this says untitled project. You can give it a different name if you would like, such as recruiter emails. You're gonna go ahead and hit allow. Again, we'll cover what's inside of this to know that it's safe. And now the execution of this is started. Let's go back to the spreadsheet. And now you can actually see in real time, even though this is blurred out, contacts being added to this list. So we have the sender, that's the sender's name. And then we have the email address. So this is all of the sender data from anyone who has been, any conversation that's been labeled as recruiter. And it's still running and now it looks like it's done. Okay. So there, there we go, execution has been completed. Now I can take this spreadsheet. I have the email addresses and name and I could import this into a email management software and I could send an email blast to these people letting them know, hey, I'm available for work. Please contact me, blah, blah, blah. And then I can then be done with it. Now, there's also something else you can do. You can actually send that email directly from this script editor using another script. So let's add a file to do that. All right, so I'll add another file. This one's untitled. Let's go grab the script. I'm gonna paste some code into here. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually rename these here. So this is send contact emails, I hit rename just so I know what these are. This is code.js. I think that stands for Google Script. It's very similar to JavaScript. There we go. So send contact email.js. Now, caveat, be very careful with this send contact email script. We can get rid of this piece. We don't need that there. What this will do is read through the spreadsheet that was just created from the other script pull off the first name and use the email address to send a email to each individual person. Here, this is the email that will be sent. If there's a first name, it'll say 
if it's Don Felker, it'll say Don will be here. If there is no first name, it'll just say there. So here we'd say, hello there or hello Don. And then you're gonna write your engaging email content, selling your services, whatever you're doing. You're gonna replace your name with that. You're gonna put a good subject line. And then it's gonna call app, uh, mail app that send email. It's gonna send this email. If you wanna see what this looks like, I recommend that you put a break statement at the end. So it just sends one email and you can put you know, my email at gmail.com, whatever your email is. And then when you send this, it'll send one email directly to you. And then you can see what this would look like. It would use the first contact inside of that spreadsheet. So the reason why you need to be careful with this is because email Gmail limits the number of sends that you can do per day on a personal email account. That's anywhere from 100 to 500 emails a day. And on a Google Workspace account, that's between 1500 and 2000. I haven't found any exact data to support this online. It says 500 for personal, but I'm experiencing today a hundred send limit. And you can actually check that with this function right here, mail app that get remaining quota. And it says, I just print the remaining quota and it prints it here. I'm gonna add one more function just so we can actually play with this. And that is the get daily quota, let's rename it. And I'm gonna run, save it and run it. It's probably gonna, uh, it says it's deleted because it's the IDE has not caught up yet to what's saved in here. I'll hit run again, it'll catch up. It's gonna need my permission because we're doing something new. We'll check my, click my email account, hit advanced. I'm gonna continue on, allow. This function just checks my remaining quota. As we can see here, I have zero. I ran into the quota earlier today, I sent, I tried to send the previous script a couple of times and then it just started erroring out saying I have no more emails to send. And that was right around 100 emails. Now, when I go check another personal Gmail account that I have, the limit is 100. When I go check my workspace account, at set to 1500. Online, the documentation says something different. So we're just gonna go with minimum. Minimum is 100 that they're gonna give you, up to 500. I'm not sure if this is throttled per hour or per day or if it changes based upon usage. I can imagine that it's probably pretty smart given the fact that it's Google. So this is how you can check to see how much email is remaining. So you don't need to send the email using this script, but it does make it a lot easier. Let's say you've got 75 uh, recruiter labels inside of there. You don't wanna send 75 emails yourself. You can copy paste this, update this email, run this script, and then you're done. All the emails will get sent for you and you can move on with your day. So that's the real goal here. Save yourself a lot of time. You can still find all of your recruiters out there inside of your email. You can create the spreadsheet with this get emails with label. Uh, make sure you're using the correct label that you have here and it will drop all of those contacts directly into a sheets file here that you can use for whatever. So you don't have to use the function that sends the email here, but you very well can. It's up to you. Hope that helps you land more clients with your freelancing and consulting career.